In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can code a clear or a purge command um, with the discord.js version 14 slash commands. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so if you're using the slash command package from the previous video, um, then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go to moderation and you're going to click the new file button and you're going to type clear.js. Now, if you're not using this handler, um, you can just follow along and use the uh, middle of the code, but I would still recommend using this handler, so just watch the previous video. Quick pause, I just want to say that if you haven't already, please add SQ to your server um, or servers. It's a really good Discord bot, uh, has everything you need, and uh, it's verified, but we're still trying to grow, so add it up, please. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right back into it. All right, so we can do const slash command builder, and then we can do equals require. Uh, we can do at discord js slash builders. Um, and then down here we can do const embed builder and then permissions bit field, just like that. And then we can do require uh, discord.js. All right, so now we can do module module.exports equals we can open this up and we can say data new slash command builder and we can do set name clear set description uh, deletes a specific number of messages from a channel just like that and then we can go down here we can do add integer option and then here we can do option arrow function uh, arrow function just like that we can do option dot set name amount and we can do uh, set description here and we can say the amount of messages to delete just like that and we can do here we can do set min value and we can put one and then we can do set max value and then we'll do 100 right there and we can do set require or required and we can say true all right so now we're going to put a comma there and we're going to go down here and we're going to do async execute interaction comma client and then we can open this up here just like that so we can do const uh let me go down here const amount equals interaction dot options dot get integer uh just like that and then we can do amount then we can do const channel equals interaction dot channel just like that and then we can go down here we can do a few if statements uh for permissions because we don't want random members deleting messages and channels obviously so we can do if uh exclamation mark interaction dot member dot permissions permissions dot has permission permission bit field uh dot manage messages it should be like that manage messages we can return a wait interaction dot reply and here we can do content and then we can say you don't have permission to execute this command and we can go e p h e m e r a l don't really know how to pronounce that then we can do true just like that we can put a semicolon here all right so now we can do if uh exclamation mark amount uh so if no amount we can return await interaction dot reply content please specify the amount of messages you want to delete and we can do comma and we can say um e p h e e m e r a l true just like that um delete this one if you put it in there uh, we can put a semicolon here and we can say if amount is greater than 100 um or the amount is less than one then we can return awaits interaction dot reply uh we can say content Please select a 
select a number between 100 and 1, and then we can do the same thing, uh, comma, E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-L, true, just like that. Uh, so we did set an integer option here, so it's not actually going to let them send the message, um, but I always like to check literally every single possibility with if statements and if logic, uh, just so that commands don't uh, malfunction or crash, and yeah. So anyways, we can do awaits interaction dot channel dot bulk delete amount. I'm going to do catch error, error function return. Um, always catch an error there, because just in case you don't want the bot to crash. We can do const embed equals new embed builder. And then we can do set color blue set description. And here we can do white check mark. And then we can say deleted uh, amount messages. All right, just like that. And then we can go ahead and send this message. So we can do await interaction dot reply embeds embed. And then we'll just catch an error here just to be safe. Error function return. All right. All right, so now that we are in the Discord server, we can uh, get into the slash command menu here. We can see that we have our test command from before. And we also have our clear command right here. So as you can see, it has all the information we specified. We can put in the, oh, I did misspell this here, but I'll just change that. Yeah, so I'm gonna restart Discord so that the change saves and I can see the change. Um, that's kind of how it works for slash commands. It's a little bit annoying, but yeah, clear. All right, then now we can see amount and let's try to delete zero. For example, it will say enter a number between 1 and 100. Uh, literally anything won't work, so yeah. Um, so now we can actually try to delete a few messages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can do clear. 5. And it will send. And then it will say that um, the messages have been deleted and it will delete the messages, of course. That's how you code the uh, clear command. If you have any questions or need any help, join the help server in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.